You know, there's an old saying, here today, gone tomorrow. And that especially applies to whitetails and white-tailed bucks. Young white-tailed bucks specifically. The 16-month-old to 17-month-old male buck, we call that a yearling buck. That buck is in his first year of growing antlers. Now these bucks are different than the other deer in the herd. And what happens is when they get to that first autumn with their first set of antlers, there is something that happens, it's called dispersal. And that means these bucks are going out for the first time and trying to find a new home. So as we know, as a buck reaches his first year of life, there's a pressure for him to disperse. But that pressure is largely due to family strife. 80% to 90% of sexually active yearling bucks will disperse from their ancestral range shortly before the rut starts every year. As this yearling buck approaches sexual maturity at 16 to 17 months of age, he is harassed, dominated, and rejected by his mother and female relatives. Like his sister, this young buck can avoid serious attacks from female relatives and unite with the family group, but only if he displays submissive, feminine posturing. Dispersal behavior by white-tailed bucks probably helps maintain an optimal balance between the amount of inbreeding and outbreeding in the whitetail herd. Scientific research indicates that social pressure induced by older female relatives is the primary stimulus prompting yearling bucks to leave their birthing range. A high dispersal rate and a long dispersal distance among yearling bucks can be expected as the density of does increases. Like all things in the whitetail herd, dispersal behavior is very complicated. And as much as we like to think we can control it as hunters, we really can't. Some guys who really intensively manage a property can find that they can reduce a yearling buck's dispersal behavior by keeping them around through various management practices. But at the end of the day, instinct is gonna take over and the whitetail will always come out on top. Hey everybody, today's product of the day is actually a product within a product. It's the new AccuSlide system built into these new 10 point crossbows. It cures a lot of the problems that you've had with crossbows before. First of all, you can cock and uncock the crossbow, which is huge. How many times have you just got to the end of the day and you don't want to shoot that crossbow off? You don't have to do that. You can uncock the crossbow. Also, it's all contained in one system. I don't have to wrestle with ropes. I don't have to wrestle with the crank anymore. I can crank that thing halfway up and stop if I want to and uncock it, or I can come all the way up. It's really versatile. And finally, with that AccuSlide system, comes with these new crossbows, especially on this Vapor RS470, is a flightless rail, which saves the wear and tear on my string and makes for a much sweeter crossbow shooting experience. Check these out today at 10pointcrossbows.com.